take a listen to him. Who's the best big man in all of basketball? I mean, you're looking at him right here. Uh, I mean, I, I, deal, I deal with them both fans defensively, offensively. Uh, you know, uh, some people might have some other opinion, some opinion, some other opinion about it, but I know that I am. So, George, do you agree with Joel Embiid? He's the best big man in the league right now? I do. When he was drafted, the comps were Akeem Olajuwon with a three-point shot. Through 51 games in his career, the numbers he's putting up are only comparable to Akeem Olajuwon, Shaquille O'Neal, and David Robinson. That's how good he's been. That's he is good. already the best NBA player offensively, and defensively, he's as good as anyone in the sport, regardless of position at this point. I cannot make an argument for anyone else other than Joel Embiid. I mean, you could toss out Anthony Davis, right? You could toss out Boogie cousins like those are good centers those are good big men oh look oh my gosh we got a graphic there you go it happens it's like you made it happen and i was just like ooh, magic right um okay so yeah look the comps and uh, a little light on points uh, ad shooting better threes uh, okay at the defensive end in terms of his yep. skill set in terms of how he impacts the game there and everywhere else on the court when he like you see games when he doesn't play, right? You see the way the Sixers look without him. It's an entirely different team. He is the sun and the moon and the stars in terms of that. But can you be the best at something with only 50 games into your career? Uh, well, I mean, we can, yeah. Because we thought he could be Rookie of the Year with 30 games or yeah, whatever it was last year. So I think it's absolutely possible. Sure. All right. What's next? All right, guys.